Bonneville, who they're one point behind, and Lloyd Minster, who they are five points behind. Perringer 1-0 and against Brooks. The Brooks recollect and put it off to the far side. Jared Cockrell clears the center. Got knocked down with a big hit by Luke Lauder, and he's staying down. Slowly gets carries in down the middle. Drop back to a wide open player, putting it right side of the net. It's tipped in on goal by Wella Kalawa, but the save made by Michael Frederick. It was Mark Drone in the center for Chase Clayton. The speed ahead is for Austin Plevy. He got around his man left circle. Plevy side of the net, cuts the front back header. Oh, what a sprawling left pad save made by Zach Forte. One. And his save percentage is 961 against the mob. Barron center to Tom Chuck. One timer is wide left of the net. Loose side of the cage. McKinstry couldn't get to it. Got it to Lauder. Back to Durkee. Left circle in front of McKinstry. Shoots off his stick. Loose in front of the net, but Durkee was. Tied up by Springer and couldn't get Tom Chuck. Bear hugs Plevy. Dunn's wide open behind the net. Cutting to the right corner. Centers and Roberts was wide open for a backdoor tap in goal to make it 1 0 Brooks. He'll make it right side. Franz is over the bandit line in front to Houcher. One on two. Trying to barrel his way in front. He gets obstructed the whole way and they're going to let it go. Oh, the goal line, but the Barons took it away. Day feeding Lofthouse in on a breakaway. Cutting him down the slot. He shoots right on. Rebound shot right into Frederick again. Lofthouse cycling it to Vanderland right corner. Put it in front. Lofthouse just out of his wheelhouse. Then he had it poke free, but it's kept in by Dave. Fed it right circle. Vanderland slap shot. Score! <laughs> Steers it down the dasher to Cockrell in the right wing corner. He slips a check. Put it in front. Plevy put it back door. Clayton's wide open and scores from the exact same spot. Alex Roberts tapped it in back door. Center ice. <laughs> for Weber in front of the score is Bruce poking it ahead of Springer. Che has some space into the right circle. He shoots and a great save made by Michael Frederick. Right off. corner Springer a quick clear. Didn't get out well. Akalava got in the way. Got it to Lofthouse. Tripped up right circle. How in the world is that not a penalty? Now it came to McNeil. Houcher right, right half forward. Skates in closer. Fed it right corner well. Akalava as Springer knocks down Houcher well away from the puck after he got that pass away. After he was no longer the puck carrier. Regular wing, got it to Durkee on his off wing right circle. Into the slot, McKintree backhanded side of the net. Vanderland, a point blank chance save. Rebound to Lawler, bottom of the left circle. And his sharp angle shots. Springer with a backhander, it didn't get through. Drohan in front, and Lawler and Springer are still tied up. And Lawler wrestles Springer down to the ice and gets away with that too. 14-23 to go in this second period. Barons win the draw on their own end. Houcher gets tripped up, and they're going to let it go again. Malott got his stick right between the skates. Cooper, the goaltender for the Calgary Canucks this year, so they might be cheering for the Mustangs. Feet ahead by the bandits, goes off the stick of day up in the air and came off the near glass uh, of the center broadcast booth. The players, the Paskaruk yielded the captaincy to Dunn. A long left point shot tipped into the crease by the bandits, but then swatted free by day center up the near over the McMurray line. Zigzags down to the left corner, centers one, tipped on goal again by Cockrell from point blank range. Set up the left side, Houcher shorthanded, speeds in left wing, slap shot off of Frederick and it just ricochets wide right of the net. Nanji fed a top left circle. Lofthouse cuts to the slot. His long slapper is tipped wide left in the net. Came back to Holmes. A wrap around went through the crease. And they were over the line he is here, but off the face off. The man has won it cleanly anyway, so it didn't matter. And then high sticked his Weber right off the face off, and they're going to let that go as well. Weber is cut in fact. Now he got a fight as Dave tries to jump Nactical. Then he gets tackled by another bandit who's the third man in on that fight. Linesman trying to tackle that player. Oh, we got a big old scrum down in the far circle. Springer's tied up with another Baron in Che. Well, referee just sitting back and watching this as Weber's tangled up with Star. It was Nactical who got the high stick in right off the face off that the referee let go. And the linesman's still trying to separate Day and Nactical as Nactical wouldn't drop his gloves. This is the plan all along by the Bandits. And you can hear the crowd. The net pass for Trees to the circle. Gave it high slot bear. Down to Plevy right corner. Fit it through the slot. Scores! Off the net front deflection. Brooks has taken a 3-1 lead on the power play goal. The PK is back to allowing goals here for the mob. And off the completely and blatantly missed high stick. The Bandits earned themselves a power play off the McMurray retaliation. Houcher couldn't stop it, but Franz could. Trying to start a cycle right corner. He cross-checks down a Bandit from behind. Then he cross-checks him again in the back of the head. And then Lester cross-checks Franz in the back. And they let it all go. Rule book anymore. Here come the Bandits now. It's behind the play. Lester gets tripped up. There's no penalty. And Barrett shoots from the left circle wide. Then Lester got tripped up again. And they let it go again. Franz carries him down the middle offside. Thank God the linesmen still enforce the rules. Then style here is they turn it over now, do the Barons to Roberts, cutting to the slot, wide open, he shoots, and it's off the glove of Forte. Nifty little oh, slow up, so there's no icing, and that'll do it. The Bandits come in, they get another two big points here in Fort McMurray as they take down the Barons by a 3-1 to one final.
through what could have been a back and forth first. It was the Bandits capitalizing on the early...